The Romans were perfectly aware of the sanitary importance of having an adequate communal water supply. The building of the water line and its administration lay in the hands of the highest authorities and the army. It was absolutely essential to supply the legion stationed here with fresh water to maintain the hygiene and health of the troops and their readiness for action. Tapping a spring constituted the start of an aqueduct. Mud and stilling pools were used to cleanse and slow down the flow of the water. Tunnels and bridges were built over uneven ground so that the gradient remained uniform. Pressurized parts began with an intake structure where the water was diverted into pipes. Pipes following the gradient, pressure and ascending pipes crossed the valleys and ended with the discharge structure which was below the level of the intake portal. Various distribution buildings and reservoirs were to be found at the end of the water line. From there, public baths, houses and wells were supplied using earthen and ascending pipes made of lead, earthenware or wood.